Hey what's up guys, so just before this video starts I just do want to say that my game Bodian Friends is out now on both Steam and Itch.io so if you want to be sure to go buy it and try it out for yourselves and you know your support would mean a lot and yeah now let's get right into the tutorial. Hey what's up guys, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity tutorial here on the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lean mechanic in Unity using C Sharp. So let's say for example you're making a horror game or something like that and you want to make a mechanic where your player can lean around walls so then they can uh, you know see what's going on without having to step right out from behind a wall in case there's like an enemy close by or something like that. Well today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and uh, it's pretty simple to do. I did it for a new project which I'm working on recently and I thought that I'd show you guys how to do it today. So if you guys do enjoy this video or you do learn something from it, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more and let's get right into it. So first up what we're going to do is you want to click your main camera on your player and you want to make sure that you create a parent object for it. So right click on your main camera in the hierarchy which is attached to your player and then go create empty parent. <clears throat> now I'm going to call this camera parent. You can call your camera's parent object whatever you want but I'm just going to call mine camera parent. And then what you want to do is you want to go window animation and then animation and you want to bring up the animation tab and then what you want to do is you then want to click create so then we can create an animation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this animation idle since this is going to be our camera's idle animation. Now for my idle animation um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like uh, change the position and then change it back to zero. The reason as to why I'm doing this is so then the position and the rotation of the camera are then recorded into the animation. So I'm not actually going to be changing the rotation or position at all in this animation. I was just changing the rotation and position to one and then back to zero. So then it gets recorded into this uh, quote unquote idle animation. Because the reason as to why we're making an idle animation is so then when our player is no longer leaning left or right, it can then smoothly transition back into this idle state. Because otherwise if we don't have this idle animation and we just have the leaning uh, right and left animations just uh, transitioning back into an empty state, then it's going to look very jittery and weird and yeah it won't be smooth at all so we're doing this so then it's more smooth. Alright so once you're done recording that just press the red button to stop recording. Oh and I forgot to say as well to start recording an animation uh, press the red button and then when it's red that'll mean that it's recording and then to stop recording you just press it again. So yeah and then what you want to do is you want to then click this tab and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the lean left animation. So we're going to call this lean left. Oh, and before I record this lean animation as well, something which I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the uh, mesh renderer on my player so then it's it can't be seen because when we do the lean animation, right, something which might happen is when the camera is like leaning, it might then lean sort of outwards and then it sees this player capsule and of course we don't want that. So I'm just going to disable my uh, player capsule's mesh renderer. You guys might, might want to do the same if you have a similar thing going on. So I'm just going to go back to doing the animation for this camera. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to the lean left animation and then I'm going to go into the game view and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this animation. So I'm going to press the red button to stop recording and then about, it'll take about probably half a second I'll make it take. So 0.30, that's basically like half a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the camera on its z-axis and then I'm going to sort of uh, position this camera a bit out of the uh, about here and there we go now our player is leaning left. Alrighty so when you're done recording just press the red button to stop recording and then we're going to create a new animation and we're going to call this lean right. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to do a similar thing as before. We're going to press the red button to start recording. And then about half a second into this animation, I'm going to do, you guys can do, um, you guys can make your leaning animation however fast you want. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make mine take half a second for the character to lean. And so what I'm going to do is I'm then going to rotate on it, um, negative on its z-axis and then the camera rotates right. And then I'm going to move the camera a bit on its x-axis and then it leans outwards. And then there we go, there's our lean right animation. And then we also have the lean left one as well. So I'm going to press the red button to stop recording. I'm going to check out my lean left animation again. And yeah, there we go. So we have both the lean left and lean right animation. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go window, animation, animator. And then this will bring up the animator tab. Now you want to make sure that your idle animation is your default animation and how you can tell is if the uh, animation state is orange. To make an animation state the uh, like default state what you do is you just right click on it and then you click set as, def set as layer default state and then boom you do that. But you want to make sure it's your idle uh, animation which is your default state. So now what you want to do is, um, so when you first ever open up the animator tab, if you've never opened it up before, you'll probably be uh, on the layers tab here initially. So what you want to do is you just want to click on parameters and then you want to click this plus icon and then trigger. And then you want to enter in the following triggers. So we're going to call this idle. And then we're going to make another one called left. And then another one called right. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're basically going to make transition arrows going from all these uh, animations to each other so then they all work. So I'm going to make a transition arrow. So what you want to do is you want to right click, go make transition, and then just uh, put a transition towards uh, each, bo to both the uh, left and right leaning animations. There we go. And then, so with the transition arrow, so with the transition arrow going towards the lean right animation, what you want to do is you want to untick has exit time and then on the conditions you want to click plus and then you want to make sure the trigger is set to right and then with the left one you want to do the same uh, things that I did before except the condition this time you want to set it to left and then what you want to do is you then want to make animations uh, going back from these uh, I mean not animations sorry uh, you want to make transition arrows going back from these lean animations to the idle animations. So you want to right click on both of these and then do a transition arrow back to that. And then with these, you want to click on these transition arrows. You want to uh, untick has exit time. And then for the conditions, you want to put idle. And there we go. So that there is the animator all set up and ready to go. Oh, and if you want to as well, you don't have to do this, but if you want to in case uh, you have any issues, what you might want to do as well is maybe do a transition arrow from both the left and right leaning animations to each other just in case. So you'll just want to do that and then apply the correct conditions based on whatever animation it's going to. And then, uh, yeah, that should be all good to go now. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is, um, with your lean left and lean right, and lean right animations, something I forgot to mention is that you'll want to click on them in your project folder and then turn off the loop time so then the animation doesn't constantly loop over and over again, so make sure you do that. And, uh, yeah, boom. So that should be it with the animations now. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to get into the scripting, so I'm going to right click in the project folder going to go create and then C sharp script and then I'm going to call this lean. So this here will be the leaning script so we're going to open this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the starter stuff here. Alright so we're only going to need three variables for this script today so what we're going to do is we're going to go public animator and then we're going to go camera anim. So what this is going to be is it's going to be an animator variable and we're going to be calling it camera anim which is short for camera animator since it'll be the animator of our camera and then we're going to go public layer mask layers 
Now, what this is for is certain, uh, because we're going to be using ray casting with this script, and the reason as to why we're going to be using ray casting is so then if our player um, goes too close to a wall or something, then the lean animation will actually stop, because otherwise what will happen is our player's camera will actually start going into a wall, and we don't want that to happen, obviously, so we're going to be using ray casting to stop that from happening. And so what the layers is going to be used for is it's basically going to be used to determine what layers uh, the raycast can hit and what objects the raycast will be able to detect, to detect basically, so yeah. And then the last variable is going to be a raycast hit variable called hit. So what the raycast hit variable is used for is it's going to be used to get information to collect information from whatever object the raycast is currently hitting so if the raycast hits a wall or something then then the player will stop leaning and yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go void update so in the update void what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going if input dot get mouse well, input dot get mouse button down zero now you don't have to use the mouse button if you don't want to you can um change this to be uh keys if you want to as well like for example if you want to go uh input dot get key down and then you know you go key code dot and then you can use whatever key you want but the reason as to why i'm doing uh mouse buttons is just because well that's what i'm doing for this tutorial but you guys can use whatever keys you want, of course. This is just, you know, an example. So we're going to be doing if input dot get mouse button down zero. So that means the uh, left mouse button. And, and then we're going to be doing a uh, exclamation mark, which means it not. So if the raycast, so if physics dot raycast, and then transform dot position, meaning that the raycast is going to shoot from the position of whatever this script is attached to and this script will be attached to our player so therefore our players transform and then transform dot forward oh. out hit and then what we're going to be doing and oh and for those who don't know what out hit means basically that's just referring to this uh raycast hit variable because that's going to be what's used to collect the information from whatever object it hits and then we're going to do 1f, which basically means that this raycast will have a length of 1. And then we're going to go layers, so then the raycast only detects the uh, certain particular kinds of layers we want it to detect. And then we're just going to do that, and then boom, all this is good to go. So, Alright, so what we've got here so far is if input dot get mouse button down 0, so that means our left mouse button. And if our uh, raycast isn't uh, colliding with anything, so if our raycast isn't hitting anything. Oh, and by the way, um, uh, this transform dot forward shouldn't be transform dot forward. It should actually be a negative transform dot right, since this will be our player leaning left. And um, basically what this raycast will be doing is it will be shooting from the player's uh, transform position and it will be shooting uh, left. So it will be negative transform dot right since we want the raycast to be shooting left from uh, the player's position. And then yeah, so that so I just had to quickly fix that up there. Sorry for anyone who saw transform dot forward. It's meant to be negative transform dot right. And so what happens is if our player is holding down the left mouse button and the raycast isn't hitting a wall or anything, what will happen is we'll go camera anim dot reset trigger. So this will be resetting uh, whatever trigger was playing before. So reset trigger idle and then camera anim dot reset trigger right. And then we'll be going camera anim dot set trigger left. And there we go. So what will happen is when our player is holding down the left mouse button and the raycast isn't hitting a wall or anything, uh, the player will be leaning left. So the left leaning animation will play on the camera animator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm then going to copy and paste this uh, down below here. Boom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up certain values here, so then it refers to when our player is leaning right instead of left. So for example, what I'm going to do is um, instead of input.get 
in, instead of input dot get mouse button zero, it will now be input dot get mouse button one. And then with the physics ray cast, instead of it being negative transform dot right, it is now just transform dot right. And then we're going to change the uh, reset trigger here from right to left. And then we're going to be changing the set trigger from left to right. And then also uh, this here at the front instead of being if will now be else if. And there we go. And so now last but not least what you want to do is underneath this you then want to go else. So what this will be doing is um, so if the player is... So if the player isn't holding down the uh, left or right mouse buttons, or if they are, but the raycast is hitting a wall or something, then this is what will happen. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, this bit of code here. And then we're going to be switching out the reset trigger idle to right. And then we're going to be doing set trigger idle, because our camera will be going idle if none of these conditions are met here. So if none of these conditions are met, then our player's camera will just be idle instead of uh, being le instead of leaning left or right. And yeah, that's pretty much the script done. So now we can uh, go back into the Unity Editor. What you want to do is you just want to press Control S to save, and then go back into the Unity Editor. Anyway, so once you get your script done, what, now what you want to do is you want to click onto your player object, and then you want to drag your lean script over to your player. And then what you want to do is you then want to fill in these uh, two empty variables. So the camera anim variable, uh, what you want to do is you want to drag over the uh, animator variable from your camera parent. So you just want to uh, grab your camera parent and then you want to drag that into here. And then with your layers, uh, you just want to select any layer that you want your raycast to detect. So I want my uh, raycast to detect the default layer, for example, uh, table, um, doesn't really need to detect ground, but yeah, we'll just have these two selected for now. You select whatever um, layers you want your raycast to detect. And then that should be all good to go. So now how about we uh, test it out? But first before we do test it out actually, I'm going to place some test walls around so then we can actually test the, uh, uh, you know, the leaning mechanic and if it goes through walls and stuff, because we don't want our player camera to go through walls. So I'm just going to place like a wall here, I guess. And there we go. So that, that should be good enough. Just one wall. And uh, yeah, so now how about we test this out? And boom, here we go. So as you guys can see, I can lean both left and right. So when I press down the right mouse button, I can lean right. And then when I press down the left mouse button, I can lean left. And again, guys, if you want to change the uh, buttons or keys used in order to do the leaning, you can. But yeah, I'm just using the left and right mouse button for this tutorial. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Ooh, so as you guys can see, I can lean behind the wall now. And uh, how about now we actually test out the uh, leaning when going into a wall. And boom, as you can see, when I go into a wall, it automatically stops the leaning. And I can't actually lean anymore when I try pressing the uh, right mouse button. And uh, we'll try with the leaning left, and boom, same thing happens. And yes, yeah, so as you guys can see, the leaning works pretty good. And uh, I'm actually using this exact same mechanic in another game which I'm working on called URLM Shadow Memories, which I'm working on with a friend of mine. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in development of that game, be sure to follow me on Twitter or something like that so then you guys can be kept up to date with development or of course you can just subscribe to me here on youtube in case i make a trailer or something like that related to it but yeah so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial be sure to like comment and subscribe for more uh hopefully it helped you all out a lot uh thanks for the support lately on my videos and just thanks for the support in uh general with everything uh you know some of the kind words you guys say does mean a lot to me and uh yeah just want to let you guys know so uh be sure to like comment and subscribe for more if you did enjoy and i'll see you all next time bye bye